stream is live. You ready? Here I come. <laughs> Twisting arrow cannon. Get ready. Greetings. This is top tier tips. Don't forget to subscribe. Ah, what she said. Uh, greetings everyone, this is Force of Nature of Top Tier Tips, and I'm coming, to, coming with, to you with a guide for Tekken 7 for everyone's favorite environmentalist turned streamer girl, Yay! Julia Chang. Alright, let's get straight to it. Julia Chang likes two things. She likes hugging trees, and she likes streaming. Well, I guess she likes Michelle too, so... Alright, so that's three things. And, screw it, alright, there's four things. Alright, when you're playing Julia Chang, you're basically be spending most of your trying, most of your time trying to either land elbows or getting your opponent to respect elbows. So yeah, that fourth thing she likes is elbows. The main reason I'm pointing this, this out because this move is arguably pretty much could be considered Julia's best move. This move right here is a 12 frame mid. I mean, yes, it's a 12 frame mid, which is kind of crazy because most down forward ones are like 13 frames. But Julia's elbow is comes out in 12 frames and is only like minus two on block. So this move is really abusable, and it's it's rain. Its range is its range is great. Also, I mean, it can go pretty far, and to top it off, it even has a even has a fall up. Even though I honestly, you don't even really need that fall up. Like it, it, on um counter hit, it can it can cause like a tailspin, but really, it's just. You could just like do this on on an opponent's block and of course if it hits and ends up like leaving you at frame advantage and then you can like, just start doing like some shenanigans and start like shaking up your opponents with like a down three or like a down four even down back three stuff like that and of course even juicy throws like mad axes all right once you're done with the aptly named party crasher yes it's actually called that then i want you to get acquainted with another move here it's a similar move um, it's called the uh, lightning bolt or anything that uses the uh, uh, down down forward and um, one moves Like this this move right here It's another 12 frame mid so this move is also Really nice and of course it's um Has fall-ups too And what it also can do is you can use you can use this on uh, Let me try right here you could also like shake up an opponent with the low because what it, the move does is it goes into Julia's um, um, twirl and stand so she has like different like fall ups out of it so I, you can like trying to sh shake up the opponent with the low there which is also um really nice. You can also use the move as like a combo filler after a tail spin also if you like so desire. Yeah so both uh, forward forward one and down down forward one are nice moves. All right, another move that you can also like to use with uh, Julia Chang is her um, quarter circle forward too. Here, as you can see right here, it's a pretty big launcher, especially on um, counter hit, because um, this move is safe on block. It is a high, but it's a it's a nice juicy launcher. Because um, with uh, Julia, generally what I want you to focus on is just simply kind of controlling the neutral game. So w once your once your opponent is either really like weary of the move order they start getting impatient when they having to deal with like constant like elbows or constant like um down down forward ones then you can try and um you can try and um with punish something with like a, a launcher and just go for like like a bit of a combo oh that shouldn't have messed so yeah so anytime the opponent stays on the ground and just smack them with forward forward two, which I know is a general fundamental for most characters. For Julia, your elbow is literally an elbow. So really, whether you're at mid range or in close range, just use this 12 frame 12 frame mid minus two on block. Just go for it. And still, you can also go for a down down forward, but just forward forward two is, e is easier to is easier to remember. And of course, as a fall up if um need be. You could do your little combo there or whatever. So yeah, so this move is good close, mid. So one, two, one, one. It is also like a string you can kind of like use to mix the opponent up. Your go-to throw will be quarter circle back, 
forward um, two, also known as the Mad Axis. All right, if you want to mess up your uh, opponent with lows in close range, you've got your down forward three, down back uh, four, down three, and you also have down four, which also has a full up there, so that's always nice. If you want to be a bit more risky or something like that, you can use like down forward uh, four, three right there. That move is pretty, or yeah, full crouch, uh, down forward four three that move is unsafe on block so you do want to be like pretty careful with that uh, julia also has a stance from forward three and if you want want you can you can kind of like chips you can just smack someone in the ankles there with a uh, forward three four so yeah, there's a bunch of little like lows and stuff like that you can use and also julia does have a stance which i ended up um showing you earlier out of it that was out of the down down forward one but you can still do it normally by doing down three plus four or up three plus four and it can lead to the same fall up so i like so out of this stance right here you can also use it to shake up the opponent with lows right there you can a wall wall slam and you can smack him in the face with the one option the two option and there's a mid kick option there so there's a few things you can do all right in general with Julia, uh, controlling the neutral game is pretty big with her. But another thing with her is also kind of the back of the opponent to a corner. Because when you end up doing like um, back in the opponent in the corner, then um, Julia can get pretty um, dangerous in there. For instance, this move can be quite annoying right here. This is a 4-2 slide. Then you can get do an add a 1 and you end up getting a... A mid punch which you can have wall slam and you can end up doing like a little small like wall juggle off of there so anytime you're in close range you see this move hits low and high so the opponent will have to will have to crouch block in order to defend against it so you can also use this move to shake it up and right here and just get your wall slam another perk of julia is her she does possess a magic four that's right her four or her right kick on counter hit launches so this move does come out in 11 frames so like most um like most magic fours i think they're around there minus like uh, 11 or 12 frames so if you're like for instance at light negative after like i don't know an elbow then you could try to bar your opponent or hit attack from disadvantage with this move and counter hit them for a launch so but i will keep some things in mind for this move it is um um, it is a little stubby, it's range isn't as good as compared to like, let's say like Katarina's 4, <laughs> Magic 4, but um, a thing that, and it is like, unsafe on block at around, uh, around minus 12, so the opponent can jab punish you or something like that, but um, the thing about her, uh, Julia's Magic 4 is she has follow-ups, so if the opponent tries to like punish you or something, they need to be certain that you don't do uh, follow-ups like 4-4-4 four, 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 or 4-4, four, four, down 4, but yeah, but if you if you do end up um, hitting it, then you can go for uh, like a little juggle after it. But yeah, the range can be a little picky at times. If you'd like another uh, whip punisher for mid range, apart from just quarter circle two, you can also use forward forward three. And right there, you can fall with a free um forward forward two. Uh, if you want, you can also use. Uh, forward, forward, uh, one, two. Also, if you want like a little follow. All right, we're gonna be taking a look at Julia's crushes right now. All right, I already showed you earlier the quarter circle two, so that will be your go-to um high crush launcher from like neutral or from like a round mid to close range. All right, so your go-to um high crush launcher. I mean, for if you just want a low poke, is uh, down back three. That's always nice. If you're feeling risky, of course you can. You can use a uh, full crouch, uh, full crouch uh, down forward um, four three. Even though that's again, I, I think I might have mentioned earlier that move is pretty unsafe unsafe on block. So yeah, it's one of those moves if they use it when you're certain it's going to hit. As for uh, low crushes, really just use just use Julia's uh, hop kick. It's a two part hop kick. Her um, up forward. Uh, Four, three. The thing, the, the, well, the move could be very, very slightly 
delayed so if you can get good at it you can almost kind of like hit confirm to move but i will let you know that is pretty hard hard to do but with uh with julia's uh hop kick what you actually could do is just do a, a single one and you're probably not going to be punished so what you can actually do is so so as you see here the first hit is even though it looks like it's hitting uh, lucky chloe in the face it actually says right there mid so what you can do is you can just use this first one to jump over to low so you're not unsafe if the full hop kick gets blocked so you can do that then good old man axis um shenanigans uh for a while rising launcher you can just use uh julia's while rising um one right there all right here let me just show you a combo with um each of the crush launchers For home and moves with Julia, you're mostly going to be just using her back four right here. So that's our high um, high home and move or high track and move. Uh, another one she does have is her Wild Rising three. This one is a mid and also I did use it as combo filler after like, a, let's say you get a counter hit, um, a counter hit back three or a normal hit. The second hit would um, launch. So after like a counter hit back three you can get a tailspin with the uh, while rising three which is pretty cool okay for counter hit combo um starters um so, some moves you're going to be using is stuff like back four so right here you can get a little combo off this uh another ones you can use is um off of her forward dash stance if you do the two option then you do also can get a combo off of this. And if you can connect this on counter hit, it's guaranteed. That's right. So if the first hit connects on counter hit, it's a two and one combo and for a big ass launch. So down forward two one is pretty sweet. Julia's power crush is a shoulder. That's right. Julia's power crush is the Tetsu Zonku. Forward one plus two. Holy crap. Look how far her opponent goes flying. So anytime you want to power through a move like a boss, Tetsu Zonku. Forward one plus two. Uh-oh. Julia Chang's on fire, so you know what that means. It's time to look at her rage skills. Oh, that taunt. Um, as you can see right there, um, Julia's Rage Art does 55 damage and it is a mid hit and attack. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty standard on Rage Art. As for Julia's uh, Rage Drive, um, it's basically like a powered up version of her, of her forward four, of her forward four three move right here. But with her rage drive, you see it knocks the opponent um, further back. It's most commonly going to be used for, like, let's say, like combo filler, for instance. See right there, you could just basically just blast the opponent across the room, and it's almost like guaranteed to like to hit them into a wall. So yeah, it's a pretty cool move. Right, let's take a look at Julia's uh, throw game. All right, some maybe people may be a bit um, familiar with the fact that uh, Julia does have a bit of a wrestling background, and it is reflected in her throws. Like, look right here, Death Valley Driver, Sidewalk Slam, and even their um, command grabs are like pretty awesome too. I mean, well, naturally, see double underhook suplex and uh, Fisherman suplex. So I mean, she has some awesome stuff. Though these two command grabs I just showed here only do an extra two damage than like let's say a normal throw so it's not really that as much a big deal the throw of course i do recommend with her is learning her mad axes which is inputted by quarter circle back then forward and two so that that is a pretty awesome throw just leaves the opponent right there so not too far away she she does have a well, let's see she has another throw too let's see 
over toss right there so it tosses the opponent away if you want to like switch sides with while they're back turn so but uh, yeah just use mad axes there's another throw you can try which is pretty tough to do but it, it does even more damage it's yeah this one the cross arm suplex Let's see if I can do it yeah there we go it's a really awkward input but you get an extra three damage there but it's just the mad axes is just oh, it's, the mad axes is honestly easier to do than the other throw like I don't really recommend that one unless you can get it down Um, well there, I mean, yeah, when you do get it down, yeah, it is pretty sweet, but, um, for some other throws, she, I mean, see, see, so for her left throw, oh, come on, come on, come on, go to the left. There you go. Bulldog! Right there, so you get 45 damage in her, and her left throw. Or the throw from the other side is, uh, Hurricane Rana, you only get, um, 40 damage, and for her back throw. German suplex. Wow, this girl's freaking strong. Uh, yeah, but um, the most interesting throws actually is similar to King. She's got freaking crouch throws. Like, check this out. Wow, just riding on the opponent's back. And now the next one. Now this is the crouch two throw, so that's um, pretty awesome. So just look at that. I mean, just... You can't just you can't crouch to avoid throws with Julia. That is sweet All right guys, that's it for now All right, so now just uh, a main thing. I'd like you to practice with Julia is just getting used to her Just getting used to her um, down down forward one And then trying to do the transition either with down down forward one um, So that's either like four or down down forward one three like, not even necessarily just to get the different options, but you can actually implement this in combos, but I will say it's um, re it's pretty... It may, may end up making Julia's combos pretty high execution. Like, with the combos, I tend to try to keep things... um, I try to keep things, like, relatively simple, but if you can implement that into combos, so you can be, like, a complete... You can be, like, a complete uh, badass with her, so... So, yeah, that is something uh, This the practice is basically just kind of the like general... um combo execution along with like just getting used to that move um but yeah that, pretty much that's it for now so if you have any um questions about anything related to this guide or just want to say hi or whatever then feel free to contact me on my you on my youtube twitter or twitch so you can just leave a comment down below also for yeah, for any questions um so you can also check out my i have a cu couple other um tekken 7 guides if you're if you're interested but yeah, but uh, yeah, Julia Chang is actually pretty fun. I mean, just elbows. She's like freaking Akira. And yeah, of course, some people probably notice that she, Julia has the same fighting style as um, Leo, which is a uh, Baje Kwan. So yes, yeah, so it's just elbows and shoulders. But um, yeah, that, that's pretty. That's pretty much um, it for now. So this is going to be Force of Nature I'm signing off. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on Top Tier Tips. You